What's up? Hey, what up guys? So a lot of you don't know, I actually cut hair. Andrew Funk taught me. So today I'm gonna give Joe a haircut and we're gonna talk about which haircut is best suited for different people. Let's, Let's go! go. Probably my, I would say, eighth haircut I've ever given. Richie's pretty good <laughs> considering it's his eighth one. He's done a good job of watching and listening. I've done a good job of teaching. Andrew used to cut Joe's hair before I knew how to cut hair. So why did you decide to do this haircut on Joe, Andrew? Joe wanted to go s with something more stylish, and uh, what's really popular now is kind of like the Macklemore G Easy what? Cut. It's really short on the sides and a little long on top, so you comb it over. Right here, just gonna get it real tight on the sides. Joe, can you talk to the people a little bit about what type of haircuts you've been getting when you were young up until now? When I grew up, I went to this uh, place called Supercuts, right? Oh, uh, Joe was... is like the prototype for Supercuts. Yeah, you should be on a Supercuts ad. <laughs> hey, Joe gets cut at Supercuts. A typical haircut for me would either be going bald all around, and if not that, three all around. So I just have spiky hair, and that's it. There is this kind of unspoken rule that you can't ask for more than like two or three changes. I know sometimes you say, oh yeah, could you do this here? Nip this a little bit here, this thing a little bit. If you ask for that fourth change, they're gonna be like, yo man, what, is my haircut that bad? I will say in the barbershop, that's like some barbershop etiquette. You don't wanna ask for too many changes. Right now it looks like a bowl cut. Why does it look like a bowl cut? Right, right now it looks like a bowl cut because you're really just gonna, you, you set the tone for how short it's gonna be right here. So you're gonna eventually just fade up and it's gonna be look so nice, man. <laughs> I think this about people with very clean cut looks. You have a clean cut face, it helps to have kind of a cooler, edgier haircut. When they look like a very nice boy, they dirty it up by either, either having facial hair, earrings, or tattoos somewhere on their body. And I think for Joe, Joe looks like a nice boy. So I've gotten a lot of messages from kids who either tell me that their parents cut their hair, or that they want me to cut their hair because they want a new haircut. Oh, your parents man. cut your hair to save money and because they find some enjoyment out of it. It's not their job and you're probably not gonna pay them for it. This is what your mom's gonna say if she's big. Mom, um, can you give me the low shadow fade with a slant uh, to the right? My dad would say, Oh, Andrew, I, I cut your hair. Okay, 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 okay. And then just end up cutting the hair the only way he knows how. Maybe show your parents these videos. All I can tell you is that we make these haircut videos not so that you can request haircuts from us, but so that you have a better idea of the kind of haircut that you want so that you can go to the shop and ask for that. It's also important to know which way Joe styles his hair. That way, while you're cutting it, you could kinda, you know, style it yourself to see what essentially gonna look like when he has product in it. So Richie, usually I use gel when I style my hair, but from what I understand, uh, the hair can actually get pretty crusty when you use it, so what's a good product to use in place of the gel? I would say I would stick away from the gel just because after you put gel in your hair, your hair gets really like spiky and hard. And nowadays, people like more so the natural looking hair. Uh, I would go with Gatsby. I like Suavecito if you need hair that really needs to stay firm and put. So that's more for like the comb overs. For you, I'd really recommend the Gatsby because you're kind of going for that more natural comb over look. All right, so this part right here, we're basically pretty much done, but we're going to the part, my favorite part, the lineup. I gave Joe a really, really short um, sideburn, so it's gonna be kinda hard to line them up. You do it more so just to get the baby hairs out of the way, but what a lot of people don't get is this line in their head. I'm gonna give Joe an actual lineup line in his head all the way to basically his calic. Cue the serious music. This used to be the hardest part of me cutting hair was when to call it. I would always try to correct all these little imperfections. Richie, let me ask you real quick. Did you put in work? I put in work. Does he look fresh? He looks fresh. Then you done! All right, man.
before and after. Wow, that line is perfect. I like it. What I like is that there's a there's a fade at the side and then at the top you just got a lot of volume. All right, guys, we went over Joe's haircut. We even went over haircuts from your parents. Thanks for checking out the video. Please check out this video and also check out this video, the original Asian barber haircut video we did with the Fun Brothers. Also, leave in the comments below if you like these type of videos or what kind of haircuts you want to see. And until then, I'm out. Peace.